Wait, wait, wait. First, listen to this important part of video. I have condensed the tutorial into most essential steps to make things easy for you. In this intro, I'll give you a quick overview of my shading process, including how I blended the colors, which brushes I used, and the brush settings. So, stay alert and pay close attention. Now, I'll show you how I achieve the desired shading. First, I'll use selection mask and then I'll select soft air brush from a sprayer's folder with large size and specific settings. So when I apply this to a selection, I typically get soft edges. However, if I want even softer edges, I recommend using mostly water blender from watercolor folder to soften edges out. Yeah, this way. In addition to soft hair brush, I also used three brushes, signature pen, coarse pencil and slanted anchor. I have modified the setting for these brushes. So watch the setting carefully. Go to opacity option, go to settings, scroll down, tap on flow graph and save settings. This setting will apply for all these three brushes. Please note that I won't repeat this information in the following tutorial. Missing this information might make it challenging for you to understand the entire process. Let's jump to first step of this tutorial which is sketching. To start off draw a line to define the background. Next add three lines to divide the space into three sections. Next add boxes to define different parts of your sketch. These boxes will help you visualize how much space each part will take up in overall composition. Okay, define your sketch using modified signature pen. Follow the guidelines we established earlier to ensure our sketch is proportionate and accurate. Position the face slightly below the guidelines of box as the dog is facing downward a little bit. Now I'm drawing dog's ears directly. But if you're finding it challenging, feel free to add some guidelines or simple lines to help you get the shape and direction right. Now let's move on to placing the cup. I'll position it in a way that it slightly overlaps the dog's body. By doing this, it looks like cup is being held forward while the dog is slightly set back. Now let's add handle to cup. Since the cup is slightly rotated, the handle will appear to be positioned towards the edge of cup. Now, let's draw a cute companion for our dog, a hamster. Position the hamster with its hand touching the cup's rim. From here, I'll draw the body curving down to the ground, adding feet. Then I'll draw the mouth, making sure it overlaps with the rim of cup, creating a sense of interaction between hamster and cup. Now that the rough sketch is completed, the next step is to refine it. And after that, we will add some hatching lines to create texture, depth, and visual interest bringing our scene to life. Okay, let's move on to coloring process. To start with, I changed the background color to darker one. Before we dive in, I want to let you know that I have already completed the coloring part. This is just a quick review of the colors I chose, where I applied them, and which layers I used. So we can speed through the coloring process. After done with the coloring on second layer, add one more layer, apply clipping mask to it and add three more layers. I'm picking color from a reference image to add to specific parts of a drawing. I'm adding colors to different layers to prevent them from interacting with each other. This way I can maintain control over the final result. As I add colors, I'm following a specific order. I'm placing colors that should appear on top on higher layers and colors that should appear beneath on lower layers. This ensures that the elements of our illustration overlap correctly. For instance, I need to make sure that the liquid in the cup, the hamster's body and inner ear of dog are positioned beneath other elements. To achieve this, I'll add colors to these parts on lower layer. Last but not least, we're gonna add color to the base of cup and to the inner part of cup. And finally, we are done with the coloring part. For shading part, I'll start by adding a new layer and changing its blending mode to multiply. Multiply blending mode is ideal for adding shadows. Next, I'm gonna choose the respective color and make it slightly cooler to make it visually more appealing. 
Now here comes the important part. Select the layer to which you want to add shadows. Select soft hair brush from sprayers folder. Keep its size large and adjust these settings. Now add shadows to multiply layer and make sure that your desired layer is selected. While adding shadows you might cover unwanted areas as well. For this you need to go to that layer which contain these unwanted areas. Go to the selection and then subtract the selection. Now the unwanted area is masked from application of shading. Let's also exclude inner ear of dog. To do this, I'll go to the layer containing inner layer, select it and then subtract the selection. Now both unwanted parts are excluded. Now that go to multiply layer and add shadows. Now I can add shadows to desired areas and exclude unwanted areas. Deselect a layer and here you can see the result. Take this method into an account cause I won't be showing you this process repeatedly. Now using the same method, I'll add shadows to multiply layer making sure to select the desired layer first. But I won't be showing you each step again and again to avoid repetition. For body part, you can use here lasso selection for adding shadows. I have also used mostly water blender to soften out edges of shadows. But I won't be demonstrating the blending process here since I covered it earlier. In this example, I'm showing you a condensed version of shadow application process. By streaming this part of process, I hope to make it easier to follow and understand. As you can see, I'm adding shadows only to multiply layer while selecting different layers. This step is just to show you where I have added shadows to enhance the illustration. I'm not demonstrating how I added the shadows as I covered that process earlier. My goal here is simply to highlight the areas where shadows have been applied and this will help you visualize the final result. Keep the shadows dark where interaction occurs between objects. To add light, start by creating a new layer and changing its blending mode to overlay. Next, choose a yellowish color tone as we are aiming to create a warm yellow light effect. Now carefully add light to specific areas I have indicated using soft air brush. Remember to use selection method to target different layers but apply the light strokes only to overlay layer. This will help you achieve a subtle realistic lighting effect. Change the color tone to purple hue which will give us a nice cool purple light. Then using the same soft air brush Carefully add lights to desired areas. Remember to apply the light strokes only to overlay layer. To add highlights, create a new layer specifically for this purpose. Select a very bright or light color that will help create a natural highlight effect. Then using a small size of signature pen, Carefully add highlights to key areas such as the dog eyes and nose. Let's blend the edges of this highlight using mostly water blender. Using soft air brush add highlights to iris of eyes. Now let's add highlights to reflective surfaces of cup. Select slanted anchor from pens folder. If the slanted anchor appears too slanted, then go to the pen size option. Adjust its angle to make it flatter and more even. As you can see, I have merged all the layers to prevent infinite painter from slowing down or hanging, which can happen with too many layers. Fortunately, I duplicated the project earlier, so we are safe. Now create a new layer for drawing the string lights. Select monoline. Adjust its size and you have to select very bright color for drawing decorative lights. 
Use monoline brush to create small circles or dots that resemble the lights on a string. I can do this by tapping and slightly dragging the brush to create each individual light. Pay attention to flow and direction of these small circles. Go to lower layer and create one more layer and set its blending mode to screen. Now select the orangish color. Using soft air brush with a reduced opacity and flow, you need to add a glow effect to these small circles, making them resemble glowing lights. Go to lower layer and create a new layer above it. Select coarse pencil from pencils folder. Before proceeding, Go to Infinite Painter settings by tapping three dots. Scroll down and enable Gesture Eyedropper on Long Press. Now let's add texture to our artwork using coarse pencil. Focus on the edges of colors or silhouette. Gently apply the coarse pencil to create a rough texture and enhancing overall visual appeal. As you work on adding texture, it's crucial to pay attention to the colors. Make sure to pick the colors of silhouette precisely. Yep, get it just right. When the silhouette color changes, update the coarse pencil color accordingly. This means that if the silhouette shifts from dark tone to lighter one, you should switch to a lighter color as well. By doing so, you will maintain a cohesive look and create a stunning piece of artwork that is full of depth and texture. Now let's draw a string that connects these lights using dark color and concept pencil of very small size. Carefully draw a string that weaves through the lights following a natural flow and curves of composition. Take your time and be gentle. This delicate line work will add a touch of subtlety and fineness to your artwork. Create a new layer and change its blending mode to multiply. Now position it below dog layer. Using soft air brush add occlusion shadows that are caused by dog, cup and hamster. And finally we are done. Like and subscribe.